Sata, Milikin de Rebo Bobo Bobo Zutaraba Kaida Basida, Marakanda Mushili Kababa, Uto Yoko Tori Baba Baba, Likin de Rebo Bobo 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 Sutaraba, Likin de Rebo Mashatalaba. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are worthy of praise, O God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Father. You are worthy, O God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. I welcome you again to fresh OEM ministration this day. Today is going to be a day of refreshment. Today is going to be a day of double blessing. God is going to visit you mightily and there shall, there shall be a what I call transformation in your life. Everything about you, God has hand over it. May God bless you this morning as you're listening to this message. Remember, this is the hour we are going to pray together. This is the hour for us to receive from the Lord. Brethren, I want you to have this in the back of your mind. The Lord said, I should tell you this morning, refuse to give up. Tell yourself, I will refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. Refuse to give up. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, he said, Do not, do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 17, he said, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Are you hearing that? He said, be strong and refuse to do what? Give up, for your work will be what? Rewarded. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, he said, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Hallelujah. Listen, the plan of the enemy for you is for you to do what? To give up. That is the plan of the enemy. They want you to give up. They want you to go and commit suicide. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be frustrated. They want you to look and say, what am I doing in this world? Why don't I just end it? But brethren, I tell you this morning, refuse to give up. Something happened. A tragic, a tragic thing happened. A, a, a young man was preached to. And the moment they preached to the man to give his life to Jesus Christ, the man, after receiving Christ in himself, says something to him, said that, what am I living on this earth for? Despite saying he has given his life to Christ, but he refused to work on himself. He refused to work on himself and he went and committed suicide. I want you to know, because you are a Christian, you still need to work on yourself by believing the word of God. By trusting the word of God. Suicide is not a solution to your problem. Committing suicide is not a solution to your problem. If you commit suicide, you will perish and you will still go to hellfire because the Bible says nobody is permitted to take life. That life that God has given to you, you are not permitted to take that life. Brethren, you are not permitted. You have no permission under heaven to take your own life because your life is not your own. Your life is owned by God. I don't know the pressure that you are passing through. Maybe you are a youth listening to me. They may be bullying at you. Or you may be deformed. Deformity is not an excuse. I am from the, 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 the poor country. It's not an excuse. My father, my mother, they are poor people. It's not an excuse. All I'm saying today is there is a way out. The Bible says, I should tell you this morning, it's a direct message from heaven. It says, refuse to give up. If that marriage is not working, don't give up. Don't quit. If your education is not working, don't quit. Remain in that your education. If your job is not working, don't quit. If your study is not working, don't quit. Don't quit. That business that you think is down, God has an appointed time. That business is going to rise up. Are you a minister of God? You have been preaching for years, 20 years, 30 years. You have nothing to show for it. You are even ashamed to call yourself a man of God. Don't give up. Don't give up. There is an appointed time. Don't look, how, look, I don't want, I want to ask you a question. How do you measure spiritual prosperity? How do you measure prosperity as a believer? Is it by the car you ride? Is it by the money in your bank account? 
Listen, in the sight of God, those are vain things. Those are vanity. No, God does not measure those things by the standard of the world, by the standard of, of, the, of the people of the world. I'm not telling you that riding good car is bad, but that is not what you are living for. That is not the purpose why God created you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you don't have large crowd, large members in your congregation, it's not a, it's not what, it's not a yastic for you to give up. A single soul that you have brought to the kingdom of God may be more than that ten thousand flocks. I want you to understand something in the presence of God. Don't give up. Don't give up. Refuse. Tell yourself this morning, I refuse to give up. Listen, in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, you intend to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. In this race, there are enemies on the way. Do not allow them to stop you. Hallelujah. There are enemies on the way. Do not allow them to do what? To stop you. There are enemies. Your life is full of enemies. Even Jesus Christ, our Savior, has an enemy. As a pastor, you have an enemy. As a married woman, you have an enemy. As a bishop, you have an enemy. As a professor, you have an enemy. There are enemies anywhere. Refuse. Tell your enemy, you cannot stop me. You cannot. You cannot. The, the, look at the case study. I want us to look at the life of Joseph. Joseph was having brothers, 12 brothers, brethren surrounded. They were 12. Among those 12, they hate him. But what happened? He refused to give up. He still has a dream. I pray your dream will not fail. That dream of your life, that dream that you have in your life, which the enemy has seen, and they say that dream is going to go down. Listen, you must press on by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he reward those who earnestly do what? Seek him. In Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. Operate by faith. Don't operate by fear. Don't allow fear to choke up your spirit. There is hope for you. Age is not a barrier. Look at Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Oh my God, what a wonderful promise is this morning. My sister, are you hearing that? What a wonderful promise is. God says what? Fear not. I am with you. Amen. The weapons of the enemy over your life is to make you to be afraid. Afraid of tomorrow. I am owing debt. Ah, they are going to kill me. I am sick. This sickness is going to kill me. Never. Never. Be not afraid. God is by your side. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, he says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hope. Listen to that word. Hope and what? A future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to what his purpose? Who have been called according to what his purpose? According to what his purpose? Ah, you are called by God. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your family. God has a plan for your children. Receive this fresh oil this morning. Receive it this morning. There is hope. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. In Luke chapter 1 verse 37, look at this. He said, for no word of God, no word from God will ever fail. Every promises of God over your life must surely what be fulfilled. Remember, brethren, the answer is what? Prayers. If you have prayed, there is no answer. Pray again. If you have prayed, what you pray for, you have not got it. Pray again. There is no any other solution. Now, don't, listen, don't allow somebody to tell you there is a shortcut. <laughs> Many believe that, oh, there is a shortcut. Oh, come, I, I have one prophet here. I have one Baba here. No, the word of God is your prophet. The Bible is the book of what prophecy. Any prophecy you want to receive is inside the Bible. The Bible is written for you. Your name is inside the Bible. Search the Bible. The, the devil will not want you to search the word of God. The Bible says, search the word, search the Bible. 
Inside the word of God is full of riches. Inside the word of God is full of honor. Inside the word of God is full of greatness. Search the word of God. What is the name of the Bible? The book of prophecy. What prophecy is more than the Bible? Any prophecy that is outside the Bible is a vain prophecy. Many of you are putting your trust in the prophecy of a man. The prophecies of man will fail. But the prophecy of God Almighty will do what? Will not fail. Hallelujah. All you need to do, look, chapter 18, verse 1 says, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. You should always pray. Prayer is the answer. Prayer is the solution. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, say, Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks, receive. And the one who seeks, find. And to the one who knock, the door will be what? Open. Hallelujah. To everyone who seek shall find. Anyone who knock, the door shall be what? Open. Hallelujah. You want things to work out for you? Go into prayers. Seek God through his word. Claim the promises of God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 told you, he said, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13, he said, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous and be strong. Hallelujah. Bring that load to Jesus. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are all weary and body, and I will give you rest. That rest is coming to you this morning. As we are going to begin to pray, that rest is coming to you. No matter what you are passing through, rest is coming your way this morning. Believe it. I stand on God's word. I stand as his servant. I stand as God's oracle to declare upon you rest. Rest on your right hand. Rest on your left hand. Rest when you go out. Rest when you come in. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 to 14, I can do all things. Say to yourself this morning, begin to say it now. I can do all things. I can live above sickness. I can live above death. That evil dream, I can live above it. That evil dream will not destroy you. You can live above that evil dream. Begin to claim the things of God. He said, I can do all things. Through him who gives me strength, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, who serve as a soldier at his own expense, who plant a vineyard and does not eat his grape, his grape who tend a flock and does not drink the milk. It's a question. Do you think that God has forgotten you? Do you think that God is not remembering you? That your labor, that you are laboring, nobody is celebrating you. Nobody is clapping hands for you. God is clapping hands for you. He said, who is the man that will plant and will not eat the fruit? Who is that boy or girl that will labor and will not eat from the fruit of his labor? Whatever labor you have been laboring, God says he's going to bless you. God says that your labor will never be in vain. According to his word, your labor will never be in vain. Every promises of God in your life will come to pass. He has said it, he will surely do it. Brethren, don't give up. Encourage yourself. If no man encourage you, encourage yourself. If no boy or girl encourage you, encourage yourself. If no brother or sister encourage you, encourage yourself. Seek God this morning. Believe him, he will do it. He will do it. I say again, God will do it. His word will not fall down empty. That your labor, God is going to reward it. Are you the one that is blessing the work of God? Are you the one that is sowing seed in God's house? God is going to bless you mightily. Are you the one that is washing the church? God is going to bless you mightily. Whatsoever you are, your hand found to do, do it with all your heart. Never you give up. Even when they are laughing at you, don't give up. Remember, all the trouble, the trouble, Joseph, he never gave up. He said, I have a dream. Brethren, you have a dream. That dream must come to pass. I see your time has come. God says this morning I should celebrate you because of what? Your time has come. Your season has come. Your hour has come. Your moment has come. This is the day that the Lord has made. It is well with you. I pray today, 
by the Malakando Ribosondo. May the grace of God be released upon your life. May the ability to prosper, may the grace to excel rest upon you this morning. May you move forward in life. You will never go down in the Marakando Riboshida. Parakandere Bobozuda Rababa. Marekendere Bosuli Kaba Shatarababa. Le Regede Mazando Ribo Boboshita Laba. You that is sick in the hospital, as you are hearing the sound of my voice, you will not die. You will not give up. Get up. Get up from that sick bed. I command you, get up from that sick bed. You woman, you are hearing my voice right now. I say, leave that sick bed now. Be made whole. Be made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I say, be healed. Marie Kanduri Bosun Turi Baba Basa Tayanda. Halakuri Taida Basele Kere Bobozuda Rabashida. Le Regede Mazutu Riba Baba. Be made whole. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Get off from that sick bear. Be made whole. La Kaida Basinda Labashida. Mazoko Turi Baba Baba. The powers of darkness will not overshadow you. They are going to bow down before you. Remember, the brethren of Joseph, they all need that before him. I decree your enemy will pack before you. Those that pursue you, those that are more